Turn around and throw it in reverse. Let me see how you work. Downtown Baltimore and Oriole Park on a Friday night. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Baltimore Orioles. Orioles baseball comes your way next. Miguel Castro, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, not a very good start in his last one, Matt. Only four innings, so he did get a no decision. But he's a much better pitcher than that, and I know that they're expecting more than four innings. Hopefully, a win, too, out of this guy in this one. Stepping into the box, Andrelton Simmons. The Angels, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Andrelton Simmons. First pitch of the at-bat. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch of our series misses for ball one. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they come in here hoping to make it two in a row as they broke a three-game skid with a victory last time out. Yeah, Matty, for me today, the key to winning this ball game begins and ends on the mound. And it has to be early on the attack getting 0-1. You can't allow these guys to get into count leverage and to hunt your fastball. There has to be execution down and away, up and in to keep these guys honest, and it has to start from pitch one. Back up the middle. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball pitcher not able to get a glove on it hard single up the middle. Yeah watch your lips right there Dan sent it back right where it came from. Next batter to the plate Brian Goodwin runner at first to start the inning and Dan when it comes to pitching in the rain what changes. I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry, and if you don't have a good feel on that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. First pitch on its way. Slider laid off for a ball. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. You know, d -Row, I think Jerry Hillsdale is a very good hitter's umpire. Doesn't give much on the edges. He's going to make you put the ball over the plate. Oh, I love me some Jerry Hillsdale. You have to come over those 17 inches. He ain't giving you anything on the outside corner. Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. Well, I think he's making it pretty obvious why he's batting leadoff, isn't he? works his way on base to start the game and then does even better by swiping second to put himself into scoring position. He's trying to make an impact from the get-go in this one. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Nunez into shallow left. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. And with that, let's take a look at the Angels' starting lineup. Nero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Matt, you take a look at this lineup, and they're frustrating to watch at times because they ground into the most double plays in the league. You want to talk about a pitcher's best friend. You finally get a guy on first base, and you're coming unglued first pitch down below the knees, grounding into a double play and bailing everybody out. I need better approaches out of this lineup today. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that is into right field. A base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other way.
Next up, the two-way Japanese import, Shohei Otani. In there, now the throw. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Really forcing the issue with that steal of second. They already had the guy on third, so now two runners in scoring position, and there aren't any force outs other than at first. Pretty good chance to drive in a pair right now. Simmons on third. Trout is over at second with one down in the inning. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made. And here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Got his job done there and made it look pretty simple. Got it into the outfield to bring home the first run of the game and pick up the RBI. Into the box now, Albert Pujols. And the Angels looking for more here in the opening frame of the contest. Here comes the first pitch. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. A ball and two strikes to Albert Pujols. I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0-2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. Fouled off. From the stretch, the one-two. And another foul ball. The men on third with two down. Oh. And it's two balls and two strikes now. He's set. The two-two. Rolled slowly to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. But the recovery throw will be in time to first. A good job that time of not giving up on the play, and the inning is over. One in the inning here for the Angels on a couple of hits. On now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the Angels one, the Orioles coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Taylor Cole gets the starting nod for the Halos. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy is one of the better pitchers in the league, and one stat that jumps out, take a look at that strikeout-to-walk ratio. That's about as good as it gets. And look for him to dominate in this one. So striding in, number one. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the Leading first. Off for the Orioles, the shortstop. First offering number on its one. way. Maybe oh, trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. They're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team has been playing really well right now. And, and, and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another 1-0 lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on the tack, early offensive, almost ambush-like approaches to their at-bats, and it's working for them. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. Hey. Two balls and a strike. You know, Matty, I'll never understand this. You work so hard throughout the course of the season and course of this game to get in 1-0, 2-0, 3-1 counts. Guarantee yourself a fastball 80 to 90 percent of the time, and he takes it. Just can't understand the methodology there. A ball hit hard to the left side. But this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gun. Now a moment here in Baltimore for the Orioles starting lineup. Who stands out to you, Danny? You know, Matt, a big part of the offense is Mark Trumbo. He's really excelled against right-handed pitching this season, hitting over 300 against them coming in. So given the matchup he's faced with here, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him make some noise at the plate. So coming to the plate, Joey Rickard. He'll get to take his first cuts here. 
Now here's the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Coming in is Otani. He gets there, and that's the second out. Coming to the plate now, Jonathan VR. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Here comes the first pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. Ball two. Two and out. A great case of a manager sticking up for his pitcher right there and giving that umpire an earful. He didn't get that pitch called the way he wanted it to, but the manager is planting a seed in that umpire's mind to try to expand the strike zone so some of those borderline pitches start to go his pitcher's way. The 3-0 pitch. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. So a runner at first with two away, and that'll bring up the big power bat of Mark Trumbo. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. As a hitter right here, you have to tell yourself, I can't get too big. Don't let the moment get away from me. A nice bullet in the gap gets the job done in this situation. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Hey, down 0-2, he better be leery of this guy's nasty changeup. He has the ability to bury it down and away or down and in wherever he wants to. So you got to be on point with this one. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Orioles leave one. They're down one nothing. Second inning upcoming from Baltimore, but first, here's Heidi Watney with a little bit more on the forecast. Well, Matt, the grounds crew members that I talked to prior to the game said the weather we're experiencing right now is expected to move on as the game progresses. They said they'll put extra effort into keeping the field dry until this rain dies down. But despite it being a little wet at the moment, we should get this one in uninterrupted. Let's hope, Heidi, for all of our sake, that Mother Nature takes that front and passes it through without an incident. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Rip down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. The one-two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one-two. And this will be fouled away. The one two. Another one sent foul. The one two. Misses for the second ball. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at-bats, you start to get into swing mode. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. 
Man, this guy's really starting to swing the stick again, D-Roll. That extends his hitting streak to nine games. Yeah, he's leaking in the three series right here now. Nine games, that's getting firm. He's seeing the ball well, and he's making the proper adjustments at the plate. First pitch on its way. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. His career numbers in this matchup, he's one for two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Moving under it, Mullins. One out. All right, let's take a look at the Radigan. defensive alignment for the Just Orioles. And, fellas, when you take a look at the numbers on this guy, this starting pitcher has a low ERA, a low strikeout rate. And what that means to me, obviously, he has an amazing rapport with his catcher, working all quadrants, east-west, north-south. But it also means that his defense does some serious, nice cleaning for him. Watch for that one today. Someone's going to make a big play. Now batting, David Fletcher. First swings for him in this one, with a runner still at first and one gone. Here's the first pitch to him. This is line to left. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it. Bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy, as he'll take a look at ball one. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. The 1-0. Line, but speared on a hop. And there's out number two. And not in time as the run scores. That grounder was hard hit, and sometimes the runner at third will have to hold on a ball like that, but he was off on contact, and they opted to take the out at first instead. In now is Andrelton Simmons as he grounds one briskly to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to Trumbull will be in time and the inning is over. Angels get just the one. On now to the bottom of the second. Angels lead it two to nothing. Leading off the inning, Trey Mancini. And they'll need him to get something going here. Hey, we're no still in the early stages in this right. one. They're only down by a couple Man, of runs. Easy. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit sharply on the ground. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Here's how the halos are going to line up on defense. The right and guys, one thing I want Number you to be mindful four. of in this one. We were here early, pregame, watching these guys take extra reps, ground balls, throwing the ball across the diamond, fly ball, shag, and this team has the highest fielding percentage in the American League and the amount of work that goes in to playing stellar defense, and I think that's what makes this team really good. Now in the box, DJ Stewart. He's got hits in each of the last five ball games. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that's in there for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Otani. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. The so bases are empty here with two Ronaldo. gone. And digging in next at the play will be Renato Nunez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one.
Curveball close, but it's one and one. That's a tough pitch to throw right there, that front door curveball. Just missed hitting that inside corner. That's a very difficult pitch. I'm not sure if he wanted to get that one down and away, and unfortunately, that one stayed inside. A two-and-one count to Nunez. Two out, nobody on. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. And you know what? Give this guy some credit up there because this had the look of being a very quick inning. He's been able to stretch this at bat out a little bit, and that's something that shouldn't go unnoticed. Throw on the board, takes care of him, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They're still down. It's 2-0. At the plate, Brian Goodwin. He flew out in his last at bat. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Now here's the pitch. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and he fouls this one off. Another 0-2 coming. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Well, I'm not sure if he was looking past this guy to the slugger coming up or just well, lost focus. But now the big bat steps to the plate with a great RBI opportunity. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. set here it comes skied into straightaway right moving under it Stewart one away now batting next right will be field. the cleanup hitter Yo Shohei hey. Otani picked up an RBI on a sack fly in his first appearance here's the first pitch to him and there he goes towards second. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Offline throw, but they still got him. Good job of getting the tag down there. This throw wasn't a perfect one. It kind of made the fielder reach across his body to make the catch, but the runner got a pretty awful jump, and it really killed him that time. Bases are empty here with two men out. Outside for a ball, one and one. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. The 2 2. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Angels held in check there, but they're on top two to nothing. Welcome back. As the Orioles look to get the offense going here in the third, this is a lineup that has had its struggles this season. Entering the day, they rank near the bottom of the league in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. 
so it's clear this is a work in progress. One player told me before the game, it's a difficult thing to go through. We're all competitive guys and we believe in ourselves, but we're obviously not getting the results we need. Now, one coach told me that despite the numbers being what they are, he's seeing a lot of development happening, off, so he's optimistic about Orioles, what the future holds, the especially for some of their younger players. Back to you, Matt. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Lifted the other way down the left field line, and no one will track it down. Now the 0-1. Hit down the line at first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. One for three back on Wednesday. Here comes the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Orioles still looking for their first hit of the ball game. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Here now the 2-2. Slow roller down the third baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. Now batting, number one. At the plate, number one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. That's a ball. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Two out, nobody on. That's out to left. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're down two to nothing. Here's Albert now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The, Angels, the designated hitter, Albert Pujo. First offering on its way. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball. One and one. The one one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire, ball two. And that's the pitch they wanted him to punch out on. A slider down around the knees. That's a good job of holding off on that swing. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. ready with the 2-2 pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Mullins giving chase. He's there and records the first down. Now batting. The Good time base. now to check out the Orioles Justin. road to the show report as you see a couple of guys in the upper levels that have been making waves of late. So stepping in, Justin Bohr. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. 
Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his... Hit high and deep to left field. Mancini ranging back at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now Two gone him. now for the Those Angels feet. in the fourth. Back. And that'll bring in the former All-Star, Zach Cozart. Here comes the first pitch. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Uh, hey, d -Roll, that's just what you want to do. Keep the pressure on. He's given up a couple of runs early already in this game, and now he gives up the two-out single. Yeah, no chance right there. You want to make this guy work. You want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible. And if two-out knocks are the answer, then so be it. Into the box now, David Fletcher, as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Liner toward right center. That gets down, and the inning continues. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting. The hey, after back-to-back -back two out in. hits right now, Luke this Moore. pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on the board. Stepping in, Jonathan Lucroy. And it seems like maybe they're starting to get to the guy on the mound a bit now. Yeah, and that could be a sign that he's starting to wear down a little bit, Matt. The first thing to go when you're getting tired is usually your command. So even if you're throwing strikes, they might be a little bit more hittable than they were earlier in the game. All right, something to keep an eye on if he remains in the game much longer. That's a ball. Good slider there, but laid That's off and called the ball low. And now a right-hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Cozart on second. Fletcher at first, two out in the inning. That hole getting a little deeper now. It's 2-0. Oh. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. And he gets this fastball over. It's 2-1. and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. He's been throwing strikes all day, so you're not up at the plate thinking he's going to walk you in this situation. You need to be aggressive and sit hard at the plate. Two runs, six hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Boy, look at that thing dart. It's full now, three and two. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of a sinker. Sometimes it's a matter of whether or not it's moving east-west, but that one right there had such good downward action. Great pitch. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now here comes the Oriole manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound, and he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he will curiously make his way to the dugout after what has to be considered a very brief appearance. David Hess answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. David Andrelton Simmons will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning.
trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And this one runs up high, ball one. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, Simmons averages a hit once every four at-bats, an average at exactly 250. The 1-0. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. And he pops it up. Trumbo in foul ground. And no one will track it down. Two out. Base is loaded. Started to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. Angels threaten, but leave them loaded. But they hold a 2-0 lead. That'll bring in Joey Rickard. So far, 0-1 with a flyout. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. And the Orioles have their first hit of the game. Last pitch was a fastball. Tries to double up with the no same bad. piece Number of two. cheese and it gets Second turned baseman. around. Nice piece of hit. Jonathan. B. Standing in now, Jonathan Villar, as he'll take a good look at a curveball that sweeps right across the zone in there for the first strike. Line drive to center field. Trout is right there, one down. Well, we've mentioned the conditions now aren't it. ideal First with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. Digging in for his second at bat, Mark Trumbo, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, and they froze him on a good changeup. Tough one. If you got good arm action, and this pitcher certainly does have good arm action out there, tough to decipher between the fastball and changeup. He's got to be willing to stay back and take the ball the other way. Strike one to start the at bat. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Under it is trapped, and there are two gone now. Stepping up to the plate, Trey Mancini. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Mancini. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. from the stretch. Hard hit ball to short. Taken in by Simmons. Throw to second for the force out and his side is retired. One hit, one left. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Angels two and the Orioles nothing. Ready once again, Brian Goodwin. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Yeah, Matty, you're not Brian. lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Here comes the first pitch. 
grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this is foul for the first strike. A ball and a strike. Fastball was too much for him there. Swung right through it. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And he makes the throw to first. Goodwin is retired, and there's one away. Now that. Stepping in, Mike Trout. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at-bats thus far. First pitch of the at-bat. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. One, oh. one out, nobody on. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hard hit ball to second. And that is through into right field for a single. So it's a multi hit game for him as that ball finds a crease into right field. And we'll give you a look there at the Angels' team leaders in that category as he's been doing well, currently second on the ball club. Ready for another shot now. Shohei Otani. He hit a sack fly earlier. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Here's the 0 1. Uh, he takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Got him swinging. The throw is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. So he can't make contact there on strike three. But meanwhile, the runner on first takes second here with two men away. Digging in once again, Albert Pujols. Runner in scoring position with two gone. First offering on its way. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. Trout stands at second with two gone. Behind 0 and 2 now. He's going, he's going. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Two. Runner breaks for third. Pitch outside. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. And to me, they just can't let guys get lead like that, especially knowing that the guy behind the plate isn't known for his arm. Here he swipes third, and they just kind of gave it to him. Ready to deliver the one and two. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. The next one two pitch. Smoked on the ground left side. And that's through into left a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's a three nothing game. 
Hey, with that the base bat. hit right now, the, the lead's 3 nothing. And the way their Justin. pitcher's going, Dero, that might hold up in this one. Yeah, and you're well aware of it, Dan, as an offense, just trying to put those extra runs across the board. You can take a look at the guy on the slab, towing the slab. He's on fire right now. Into the box, Justin Bohr. Into center field, line drive, base hit. Hey, pitchers, you better start taking notice of this guy. He better be circled on that lineup card because he's on fire. That's his second hit of the ball game right there, and I don't see him stopping. Digging in, Zach Kozart, and we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Looking to minimize the damage here. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. He wasn't fooling anybody with that fastball. He barreled it up nice right there. He's just got to find a way to keep it fair. The 0-1 pitch. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at-bat. It's 0-2 now. Hey, that's a really good pitch right there, and that's one of those off-balance swings. As a pitcher, you want to look in and say, howdy, if you're waving at me. A real ugly swing, and it gives you a lot of confidence when you make a guy look that bad. So hopefully he has another pitch left in his repertoire to bury this guy and get him out of there. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Here now the 2-2. is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Angels get just the one. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Angels are out in front. Three to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles offense with their manager between innings. And one thing he stressed to me is the need for them to have more competitive at-bats the rest of the game. He told me he can't recall many times where they've been able to get to a full count today. And while that's not always a necessity for success, they've clearly had their struggles today, especially when it comes to making things difficult on the opposing pitching. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Leading off. Leading Orioles. off the inning, D.J. No Stewart, field. as they'll look to Number get something 24. going here and even this game up. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it. Makes the play one away. A little bit over halfway home tonight, bottom of the fifth, as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys, and they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Renato Nunez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch on its way. Curveball taken for a strike on the inside. His pitch count is in a really good place at this point in the game. He's pounding the zone and getting first pitch outs just like he did on the last guy. We might see him work deep into this game if he keeps this up. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Just tied him up with that last that. pitch. Pretty evident by number the swing. Three. Sometimes guys get in that protect mode so much that they're swinging at everything that they see, and they end up offering at pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. Stepping in now, Cedric Mullins as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Oh, 
And that's up in the zone a bit, but a called strike, 0-2. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his own, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two quick outs, and now he's got this guy down 0-2. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Now the pitch. Into center field, line drive base hit. Yeah, man, he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first, so as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. Ready for another chance? Pedro Severino. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And it's fouled away. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. A ball and two strikes. Hey, this offense needs to check themselves right now. They have to find a way to get somebody on base and get this guy out of the stretch and make him a little bit uncomfortable. I mean, they're one strike away from being shut out through five. Again, a one-two. Oh, and they pulled the a string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. One left for the Orioles. Still down, three-nothing. Standing in, David Fletcher. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. David Fletcher. Here's the first pitch to him. No balls in one strike. The wind up and the 0 1. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's 1 and 1. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And a slider. Oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's now favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, thing. calling balls Loose and ball. strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. In now, Jonathan Lucroy, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One and one to count. Now the one and one pitch is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. That's a great job of keeping your hands back. You could tell he was totally fooled. His hips started leaking a little bit, but he was able to stay strong enough with his hands not to overcommit. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Three runs, nine hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Grounder down the line at third. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That lawn dart Four felt stars. so Ample good. Thing. Oh, Dero, this guy's yeah. been due. He really needed that one. Standing in now, Andrelton Simmons. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1 0 is looked at off the plate for a ball. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. 
because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate, and that usually means damage done. Down low, and the plot thickens here, three and zero. Oh. Luke Roy stands at first with one out. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. It was obvious when the count ran to 2-0 and oh that they were not going to give this guy anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. And now for the Angels, Brian Goodwin. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, and a borderline call, Matty. I don't know. I got to feel like he's got to build a rapport with this umpire, this A.B., see how far he'll go in or out. He can't allow himself to go down looking again. No balls and a strike to count. First and second now, one man out. Line to the right side. Stewart back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. The center fielder, number 27. Stepping up Mike. now, Mike Trout. We'll wow. see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. First delivery to him on the way. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Runners on first and third, two away. Runners breaking for the plate. One and one the count now. Throw over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. And another throw over, and a dive, but he's back in. Scraping him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. You know, that can really be an effective pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone, so if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Angels strand a couple. They lead it three to nothing. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, number one. And at this point of the game, Orioles. I think it's clear that the Not plan of attack top. against the top of number the order one. has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. Curveball just misses apparently. 1-0. Oh. Ooh, and he finds his spot there. 1-1. One and one. Nope. One and one. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. Nope. It's one and two. One and two, here it comes. Whoa. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Now battle. The designated hitter, Joey. Next will be the designated Rickard. hitter, Joey Rickard. One for two on his line so far in the game. Here comes the first pitch. Now a curveball misses inside. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. The 1-1 one, one home. 
pulled high in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Goodwin, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now back. So digging in now, Jonathan Villar, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. The relay and a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. When you're struggling as a team to put the ball in play, every base hit is welcome, but a double will really help wake everyone up. That's just their third hit of the game, but it's a good one. Here's Mark Trumbo now as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh he's hitless in his two at bats so far. The one oh smoke toward third oh, and he has some trouble with it and a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. Danger averted following the two out double. We're back to Friday night baseball on the show after this. Welcome back to baseball on the show. The Angels are out on top in this one as we get caught up on our game summary through the first six innings of play. Tanner Scott is on to pitch from now the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 66. Tanner. Now at the plate, Shohei Otani. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Here's the first pitch to him. Well, right back at him, and it hit him. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. And now they'll hustle out now there back. and attend to their That's pitcher. And that was quite a Albert. shot he took as you see him down on a knee. But if there's one thing I know about this guy, he will not want to come out of this game. And from all indications, it looks like he's going to try to continue. Now at the plate, Albert Pujols. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way fouled away. I know it's a guessing game but usually when you flip that coin it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. And a good job to lay off the fastball there close but it's one and one movement in the Orioles bullpen now as they've got a left hander up and throwing. One and one here it comes now one hit foul over to the right side as the count moves to one and two the one two runners going pitch is high the throw not in time he's in there at second hey, it's almost impossible to throw a base runner out that gets a lead that big and plus this catcher's not known for having a cannon of an arm. The 2 2. Lifted in the air to center. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. And he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. The first base. Digging in now, Justin Bohr is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Strike taken up in the zone. 
Hey, I have no problem with that take right there. Reliever coming in, you haven't seen this guy for a while. Gives yourself a chance to calibrate what he's got. Otani takes his lead at third with one away. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0-2. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield. Get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. Hoping to send him packing. Catch on its way. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. That strikeout changes the whole complexion oh, of the inning. Game. He was definitely pitching for it with a runner on third that. and one out, and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Into the box, Zach Kozart. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Get up and stretch here in Baltimore. It's the Angels three, and the Orioles nothing. Ready now, Trey Mancini. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. First offering on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, we're moving into the later innings right here. This guy's continuing to pitch well with his first pitch strike percentage well over 60%. That's about league average so far, so he's right on point. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. The one-two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Lifted down the line and left. On the run is Goodwin. And they can't run it down. Hit hard up the middle. And this is going to scoot on through into center for a base hit leading off the inning. Hey, excellent job right there, leading off the inning with a base hit. We yeah, got to keep this line moving. We cannot four. stop. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men, maybe three men, put some pressure on this defense. Into the box now, D.J. Stewart, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. No hits to this point. In the dirt. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And that'll move the runner up to second as it takes away the double play possibility. Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close. And I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. And he misses 2-1. side but foul ready with another 2-2 well below the knees laid off on the change up there what we're seeing here is a really smart at bat they got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas so when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game now the three and two pitch now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. The payoff pitch one more time. This is lined to left. Goodwin is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first out. The batter, 
the third baseman, Renato Nunez. And here's Renato Nunez. Here comes the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Nope. And there's ball one. Runner at second here with one man out. Oh, good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. Looks like he's got a good feel for that two-seam fastball this far into the game. He's used it really effectively tonight. Popped straight up. And no one can get there as it falls. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Number three. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. Ready now for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. First pitch coming, here it is. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Well, the O's have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now would be a great time for that. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. Here it comes, 0-2. There's a breaking ball blocked by Lucroy. One and two, here it comes. A bouncer to the left side. Simmons has it. The second for one. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. They couldn't turn the ending double, double play. They just get Eight the throw. force out at second, and the Seven runner throw. scores from Eight third. Throw. Riding in, Pedro Severino, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Your Ramirez please. takes over pitching duties, now, looking to get that eight. final out now here in this Number seventh 24. inning. No way, Ramirez. He's set and the pitch. Sinker on the inside, and that's a strike. Behind 0 and 2 now. Hit out towards second. He's right there. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. A run on two hits, and they leave one. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Halos lead this one three to one. Number 64 will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Into the box now, David Fletcher. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Fletcher. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1 0. Oh. And a strike to even the count. 1 and 1. The 1-1 home. 
is smacked into the gap, and this might be extra bases. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. The second this thing got past the outfielder, you knew it was at now least back. a double, possibly a triple. Jonathan. But he turns on the afterburners and is safely into third. In now, Jonathan Lucroy. He swings and lines it to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And tack on one more, make it a four to one lead. Well, that wasn't oh, your standard crazy. sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so Andrew it wasn't Taylor. a given they were going to send him. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. Back to the top of the Angels lineup now and stepping in, Andrelton Simmons. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Popped up. Trumbo there to make the play, and there are two gone now. Oh, Stepping into good. the box, Brian the Goodwin. He's hitless in Brian. three at-bats to Goodwin. this point. First delivery to him on the way. High in the air out to center field. Mullins is there, and that retires the side. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Angels four and the Orioles one. Back to the top of the Oriole lineup now and stepping Leading in, off. number Orioles. one. Orioles. He lined out in That's his last stop. trip, so looking number for better one. fortunes here. This is when you start to lose your mind a little bit. You know you're in a slump as you walk to the plate. You finally do something good and barrel something up and it's right at somebody. Drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. Throw will not be in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. Now, Hold on here though. That was really a close play so they're checking to see if they want to challenge that safe call. Here's another look at it now. I couldn't really tell when I saw it at full speed and I'll tell you what it's still not clear to me from that replay. We'll see if they decide to challenge it after they look at it from a few more angles. And it looks like a no from the bench, so the call will stand as safe. Standing in now, Joey Rickard, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Oh, but they will still get the lead runner at second, so no double play, but boy, very fortunate to record the first out there. Well, that's usually a pretty tough turn at second when you're going around the horn, and I think he knew he was going to get taken out, so that was a good job to take the blow, get the out, and eat the throw. Stepping in now, Jonathan Villar. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Goodwin is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now that's so it's a runner at first, first with two men out, and that'll bring up the big power bat of Mark Trumbo. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Curveball is nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Rickard is off of first with two away. And he takes a cold strike one. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We've played eight full. Angels are out in front, four to one. Plate, Mike Trout. He'll start things off in the top of the ninth as they look for a little insurance. Mike Trout. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. Counts even to Trout one and one.
Hard hit toward the hole. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. That's why they call it a game of adjustments right there. The batter has to feel good about what he just did. Swung and missed at the first changeup, got it again, and was able to get himself a knock. Into the box now, Shohei Otani. Pitch out, nothing doing. The 1 0 is looked at for the first strike. You know, the old adage is you never throw a lefty down and in because their ability to turn and burn, and this pitcher's taking that to heart. He is throwing everything away right here. A runner at first with no outs here. Now a throw over to first, and they got him. Decisions like that have to be made knowing who you've got at the plate. This guy can put one over the fence no problem, so that wasn't very smart baseball. Now the one and one pitch. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The batter, number five. Digging in to try it again, Albert Pujols. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Here comes the first pitch. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. And he lays off for ball one. Well, that two-seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off-speed pitch. Shot to third. A diving effort as it's off his glove. But they'll still manage to get the out on the force. And with that fine play, the inning comes to an end. One hits all they get. Nothing more in the Angel ninth. Last chance coming up for Baltimore. They trail here 4-1. to one. Ty Buttry comes on looking for a please. save here in the bottom now of the ninth inning. The Number 31. Coming to the plate now, Trey Mancini. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. No left fielder. First pitch on its way. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Hot shot toward third, but quick reactions at the hot corner take away a hit, and there's one gone. Number 24. Striding into the box, DJ Stewart. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. Bases are empty. One man out. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three-run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2-0, and especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. The 3-0 finds the zone strike one. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. Three and one, here it is. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. 
And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Looked to me like he had now the right idea with the swing on that pitch, and he just Ronaldo. didn't get the bat through the zone in time. Yeah. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. In now, Renato Nunez. He sends it on the ground softly to the left. Throw to first here is going to be in time as the Angels have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and they just keep on keeping on. Got a nice little run going here, winning four in a row and playing with a lot of confidence. Success is never guaranteed in this game, so you have to appreciate it when it comes. A four to one finish in this evening's game. The Halos jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Taylor Cole with his fourth win this season. Miguel Castro couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. Ty Buttry records the save, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Angels, Four runs, 13 hits, no errors. They left 10 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 52 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.